Shortly after I became Archdeacon, I met up with Paul Williams, Vicar of Christ Church Fullwood, to hear about his vision of planting a church in Sheffield every two years. He told me that they had someone uh, that they'd recruited uh, on the staff at Fullwood who was ready with a team to move to a new area of Sheffield. And he asked me very openly where I thought they should be going. We explored a number of different possibilities and I openly admit that Gleadless Valley was not first on my list simply because it is such a different area to Fullwood. But I'm very glad to say that David Middleton, the Vicar Concerns, was uh, gracious enough to agree to move here with the team. I've been coming here a long time and uh, there are lots of good people here but it's been a struggle at times getting people involved and for us to feel confident to do things regarding church life. I think the new members that have come along uh, will bring a lot of practical help and uh, resources, lots of resources for the children, lots of work going on there and, um, and their own experiences as well. What we have all found amazing at Holy Cross is the fact that people from uh, Christchurch at Fullwood, the posh area of Sheffield, have moved over to a fairly run-down council estate and that's, uh, that's terrific what they've done. I've been going to Fullwood Church for about 15 years and uh, very much supported their policy of uh, church planting and uh, making Jesus known elsewhere in the city. And when I'd heard that uh, the, the next church plant was actually going to be a graft of supporting a church in a, a deprived area of the city, I felt that that was the, the right thing really to be looking at to make Jesus known in the area of Gleadless Valley. I think we have been uh, keen to get involved and uh, very keen to see uh, the gospel uh, proclaimed in Gleadless Valley. It's been a real gospel opportunity, uh, the church graft, to see uh, God's word faithfully taught Sunday by Sunday uh, and see uh, the Sunday club developed and kids coming off the estate uh, to learn about Jesus. That's been a great privilege and opportunity to see that. I arrived in Forward in September 2009 and the intention was that I was going to lead the next church plant from Christchurch Forward. We looked at a number of options uh, over the next 18 months or so and uh, each of those uh, for some reason hit the end of the tracks until Martin came up with uh, an idea of going to Gleadless Valley uh, and not doing a church plant and a church plant is where you take a new group of people and plant a church in a specific area. Uh, Martin's idea was that we would do a church graft, joining of two churches together. So a group going from one church, joining an existing church fellowship like that, and becoming one church family. Since this was first thought about, uh, I've worked very closely with the church wardens and with the church family at Holy Cross. So four or five months before I arrived here, uh, we were already meeting uh, members of the graft team and the pre-existing Holy Cross family were meeting together to pray on a monthly basis. We also had an away day up at the Oaks Christian Holiday Centre, uh, which was very formative for all of us to spend time together, growing together. But we're under no illusions, these things take time. But we are, uh, thanks be to God, growing together. I hope that um we will all be built up as Jesus wants us to be, to work in the community as he wants us to do. I hope that within the Gleadless area that uh, the name of Jesus will be known by more people. Uh, initially I, I want to see uh, the, the graft and the existing Holy Cross congregation uh, come together and be united as one in Christ. 
and uh, moving on from that to uh, faithfully proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the surrounding community. Well, my one big hope is that the church and the community are ready for when Jesus returns.